Hey guys, it's Com V, and today's video is going to be slightly different than my typical rec room videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix controller drift with your Quest 2 controls. Just keep in mind that I'll show you the way that I clean the controls and a way that a lot of other people do, but I wouldn't say it's a recommended practice. So there's my disclaimer. It works for me and it works for other people, but it's technically not the the way that uh, Quest would recommend you cleaning them out. Um, that being said, lately I've been drifting a little bit to the right, I've noticed. I know I've seen other people have problems with spinning in circles or just, yeah, having that constant like movement. So that means that there's probably dirt under your remote and I'm going to show you how to fix that um, with one of my remotes because I'm having a very similar problem at the moment. So the first thing you'll want to do is take out the battery because you will be spraying some chemicals inside and you do not want a corroded battery. That would be very bad. All right, so now that I've taken the battery out, I just picked up my WD-40 contact cleaner quick drying. This one is made for electronic parts. I'll have the information in the description of the video as well, so you could purchase it yourself. No, this is not a sponsored ad. I just happen to be using this. Um, so anyway, <laughs> and it really is not a sponsored ad, I promise. But um, let's see, do we have to shake this? Yes, it says shake can well for 20 to 30 seconds. All right, so while I do this, uh, Now we're getting to use some of my muscles. I feel like that's been almost 20 seconds. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're ready to use it. So what I do is I'll move the little joystick part to the side and I'll begin spraying all around that inside part of the remote. Um, you could also do this to some of the buttons if you have, find that you're having a sticky button. And this will just push out any of those dust or particles that are affecting your gameplay. So here we go. And there is some liquid that comes out, but don't be alarmed. It's supposed to happen. And you don't have to go too crazy and use the entire bottle, just a few sprays will do. So now that it's a little bit wet, I'm gonna take just a regular electronics duster and I'm going to spray where I put my electronic WD-40. And try and dry it out. All right, wiggle, wiggle the joystick around a bit while you do this. Um, it's important just to help move around any of those pieces of dust that might be moving while you uh, uh, blow them with the air duster. I do go a little crazy with this one, but I wouldn't go crazy with the liquid. <laughs> but anyway, at this point, your remote will be really cold because this is compressed air and uh, when it comes out, especially on liquid, it tends to freeze it, um, which is why we took out our battery. So if I go back and open up my battery control, it's, it doesn't really look wet, but before you go and put the battery back in, I highly recommend waiting about 20 minutes before you put the battery in and try and use it you'll notice right away because of the cold air and the liquid, it won't work right away and you could freak out because you're like, oh my goodness, did I just break my remote? Well, no, it just has to dry a little bit more. So I'm gonna go put this on the side and hopefully in 20 minutes, that should fix all my controller drift issues. Another recommendation before you go ahead and use the liquid duster. You could always try using compressed air. 
and see if that works because if it does, it's just like one less thing you, and one less chemical that you're putting into your remote. I don't really think you have to remove the battery with the compressed air, it's just with the electronic duster. So my right remote is actually pretty good, but I'm just going to use some compressed air to clean it out. And that's it. So yeah, in 20 minutes my drift will be gone. I hope this video helped you guys out. Again, I'll have the information down below with the two types of products that I personally use. Let me know your feedback if you have any other recommendations. Uh, that's all I have for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.